Parent and child is a creative animation technique. It allows us to animate a parent and then add a child or children to that parent. Wherever the parent moves, the child or children follow. Here in the objects and animation screen, I've used two keyframes to rotate my image over the background sky. The seascape is my parent image. Let's add a child to the reverse side of this image. So as the seascape spins around, we see the child on the other side. To create a child from any parent, and both parent and child can be an image, a video, text, rectangle or a frame. Now to do this I'd like to select my first keyframe so I can apply my child image before the rotation takes place. Back to the bottom right corner right click over the parent and I'm going to add my child image. Can I draw your attention to the fact that the image I'm going to use, the child cormorant, is actually looking to the left and when we open it all looks well. I would like to match the style that I applied to the parent with the child here and I can do that in the properties. I just ticked the default border and the default shadow. Now I'd like to run the animation so I'm going to put my cursor back at the start and press the play button because when the animation begins we shouldn't be able to see the cormorant and when it spins around we should be able to see the cormorant but it should be looking the other way so we've got two more things to do. Now we need to bear in mind that the cursor is currently at the right hand end of the animation travel so all of the animation is now complete at this point. So my bird should be really on the right looking left. Select your child cormorant, go to the rotate Y, we can click and drag but it's actually probably a little bit easier to just type in 180. Now that's corrected the animation at the end of its travel but if we go back to the start we've still got a problem there. We put that right by going to the properties and we need to tell the software not to show the back side. There we have the animation complete. Let's take a look at a full screen preview. There's our image nicely rotating and the cormorant is the correct way round. And of course from here we could move on to the next image in our sequence. And of course we're not limited to just one image. We could include as many as we feel appropriate. If you'd like to study the parent and child relationship a little more, create six square images as I've done here. Place them in the slide list and select all six. Go to your styles and themes and in the experimental section double click the cube. Now once you've done that you can play this and you can see exactly what the cube does. But if you open up that image into the objects and animation screen now you can see in the bottom right corner exactly how it's created. You can see that the cube is made up of three sections frame 1, frame 2, frame 3 and within each of those frames you've got two opposite sides of the cube. Down at the bottom you've just got one side of the cube that's repeated just to give us the blurred background. But over all of that we've got a control frame so we could say that the control frame is the grandparent. Frames 1, 2 and 3 are the parents and images 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the children. So we can use parent and child as basic animation 
or we can stretch our wings and make it a bit more complicated.